Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about D2R launch and how mod authors can support D2R launch in their own mod. Um, so if that kind of thing sounds like it might interest you, definitely stick around, like, subscribe, you know the drill, um, and let's just jump right into how that'll all work. Um, so as a reminder, D2R launch will dynamically uh, load things as needed, um, depending on what mod you select. And we're going to go into how you can control that as a mod author uh, in this video. Um, so if you haven't seen it before, I have the remodded mod selected right now. And this is the news, the icon, etc., cetera, um, that I have told it to use, as well as all my you know, settings and whatnot. If I were to change to, let's say, some random mod, um, you can see all the news, the icon, etc., updates, um, because that uh, particular mod has not opted in for launcher support. Um, and again, I can go to some of our other in-house mods and you can see uh, once more the news and everything updates, uh, our options get re-enabled. Um, all that is done automatically from the launcher um, based on what you tell it. So how do you tell it to do things? Well, how does that work? Uh, we're gonna look at that right now. So the only thing you'll need to do is you can ignore these text files here. These are for the player's benefit. Uh, they never need to mess with them. They're just there for storage for versions and things like that. Um, all you need to do is edit the mod info.json file that's already included with your mod. Um, so we're gonna add this uh, you know, block of comment options. Um, a template for this will be included in the author resources. Um, so you can just copy and paste this and then edit things to your liking. Um, but I do need to explain how this works and kind of some of the things you'll want to watch out for. Um, so uh, pretty self-explanatory up here. This is just some of your important mod details. Um, maybe the version your mod runs on, some of the news messages that you want to show your players, as well as the important download links. Um, so let me spend a quick minute and talk about these download links. Um, it's important that you want to make them static links. Uh, meaning that they don't change every time you kind of update the file. Um, so if you're using something like Google Drive, uh, you can right-click the file, go to Manage Versions, and upload your new copy, uh, and it won't change the link. Um, there's also plenty of other websites that, uh, you know, you can use that same function uh, where when you update it doesn't change the link. But essentially, you want to put that type of download link in this file. So uh, using Remodded, our in-house mod, as an example, um, here's the download link to our actual mod files. Um, so that's the big zip that you know contains all 700 megabytes or whatever of mod files. And then I also have a link for the mod info.json file itself. Uh, so that's the mod config. So that would be this file. And the reason we have a separate one for that is actually for uh, your benefit as an author. Um, so it's going to download the most recent one automatically. And when it populates its options, it does it from that downloaded kind of recent file. Um, so while the player will be able to technically see this and edit it, um, they won't be able to turn on or off features you know you specifically set um, because it's using that that kind of server version of the file um, to load all that and then it just kind of dumps the rest um, for reference uh, later um, but uh, so that's just important that's why that's there um, so you don't have to worry about uh, you know them kind of messing that up on you um, Obviously, it's possible for them to still edit things manually or work around things or whatever. We're just trying to make sure it's not done easily on a mass scale. Um, you know, if they want to edit things manually and go through the effort, then obviously they can still do that kind of stuff. Um, so with that out of the way, that's just basically how the links work. Um, so as a real quick example of how you might uh, use this, let's say the current version that players have is version 2.0 of your mod. Uh, but you just released an update that, I don't know, fix some bugs with items and things. So you just released version 2.1. Uh, all you need to do is simply update this file with the new version and then re-upload it to this location uh, that you told it to get this file from. And it's going to detect uh, that the player is running on version 2.0, but that 2.1 is now available. So that when they click the Check for Mod Updates button, it's going to automatically download the latest version of the mod and install it and get it ready for them. Because you've set the news uh, in this file as well, 
um, the new news message will let them know. So for example, if I click remodded here, you can see it updates the news, the icon, all that, um, but they'll get notified right away. Uh, you know, if you set it as a news alert, hey, we released a new version. Um, so they know after reading that, oh, I can click the check for mod updates button. Again, they don't have to check 20 websites or discords. Um, and uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, as well as uh, mess with extracting zip files and deleting things or anything like that. It's just uh, click the button and it'll do the rest for you. Um, so obviously a huge quality of life improvement for both you uh, and the player in my experience, um, just because it makes things so easy. Um, and then finally, as you probably could tell, um, we have uh, additional options with the, feed, uh, with the launcher. Um, so UI themes and different uh, controls for maybe like uh, if you have a runeward menu, how you can sort it. Uh, additional monster stats display, whether you would like a merged or a standard HUD, all these kind of things um, you can enable or disable as you like. Um, for some of these features, they do uh, require some extra files, at least at the time, uh, it might be improved later, so uh, it kind of works more universally. Uh, but right now you do need to include, at least for some of the features, uh, your own files if you want that uh, feature to work correctly. Um, that is very easy to do, but let me uh, show that real quick. Um, so inside your mod folder here, if you go into the data folder where you normally have, you know, local HD, local, etc., um, we have a folder that you'll want to make called D2R Launch. Inside that folder, you can put your logo, whatever, uh, you know, logo you want. So here, you know, I'm just using this as an example, um, and that will tell it to, you know, automatically load that when they switch the mod. Um, so obviously if I go back to Caleb, you can see the icon switches back to the kind of standard uh, version of it because this mod hasn't uh, enabled or done anything like that. Um, but when I switch back to remod it, it goes up, it finds my logo and up updates it. So again, you can customize this to your liking and uh, make it seem like it's, uh, you know, hand built, even though all you had to do is basically edit a single file. Um, so, uh, anyways, um, for additional options, uh, like actual features, um, those are all going to have their own folder. Uh, again, all these uh, will be included as basically a template in the author resources uh, file um, that you can just copy and paste over and edit to your liking. Um, so, uh, if I go into, uh, let's say, the merge tag, for example, these are all the files it needs um, to run. So, you can just copy and paste this in. Uh, enable the option and now they would have a merged HUD on your mod as well without you needing to do anything really but just copy and paste some stuff. Um, so a lot of them will work like that for some of them you know uh, the runeward sorting option that's for our runeward menu. Uh, if you don't have a runeward menu in the first place then um, you know you're not going to be able to use that. So this these are all the files needed to make your own runeward menu. Uh, it's already in the layout you want. You just have to edit the actual runewords to match, you know, whatever's in your mod. Um, but again, this is all just as a template. Use it if you want. And if you don't want to bother, then don't bother. Uh, just, you know, disable the option in the uh, config file, and uh, that's all she wrote. Um, so I hope uh, this has helped kind of understand just how it works and how it puts um, the mod author's intent at the focus. Um, while we're happy to enable as many customizations as we can for the player, uh, we want to make sure it's not conflicting with, uh, you know, your own intentions. Um, so maybe you spent 200 hours bouncing monsters or something, and you don't want people to be able to use the customization section. Uh, so real quick, I'll select, select Vanilla++ Plus Plus, uh, as it has customizations enabled. Maybe you don't want players to be able to change density and their drop rate and experience rate and all that because you spent a lot of time crafting that, uh, you know, experience. Um, so that is what this is for. Um, that's why the config file exists, is so that at the end of the day, while the uh, options are there for the player, it's up to you to decide, you know, if that's an option you want the player to have. Um, obviously, some of them, like uh, the auto-updating mods and um, all the quality of life features, like, for example, um, player changing their font or whether auto backup characters is on, stuff like that. Um, it's just a general improvement for the players. Um, we don't want it to conflict with your gameplay or, uh, you know, other visions. Um, so with that said, I hope this has been a, a good enough uh, kind of breakdown of how it works. Things will definitely improve over time. Just be patient with the process. 
um, and uh, we'll get more features added, uh, more kinks worked out uh, as we run into them. Um, but I think it'll be a, a powerful tool for uh, everyone who partakes. Um, so thanks for sticking around to the end, end of the video and have a great rest of the day. Bye.